No, I appreciate the opportunity to address this issue, but uh, and I hope I don't step on any toes, but I will never be the same after seeing the Earth as a magic, alive, blue ball from space. Now, science is not magic. Magic is magic. Superstition is superstition. Science is fact. It's what got us up into space and back alive, and it's what gets you from one side of the room to the other, okay? So there's no reason to fear science, and scientists who are devoted to facts have overwhelmingly concluded that man-caused climate change is already happening and will get much worse yet, even if we can start to reverse it. So uh, I'm not going to accept the right of big petroleum interests and their political clients to uh, propagandize, which is exactly where the climate change denying talk is coming from, obviously, otherwise it would never have gained any traction. So let's call a spade a spade and call out these deniers. Uh, this isn't a game here. Do these people have some other earth they think they can live on after we destroy this one for themselves? I don't think so. The view from space of the stars and the planet Earth, the sparkles just, just inspire me, truly. Look, let's be honest, and thanks for the opportunity to speak on this. When you say you're anti-science, and scientists are just an evil cabal trying to line their pockets and destroy our quality of life, no. Science is responsible for our quality of life. Just like it was scientists who sent us into deep space, where we could see the earth for the precious, fragile thing that it is. With all due respect, Senator Inhofe couldn't do that. Frankly, I doubt he could get an airplane off the ground. And I've heard some stories about his reckless disregard in that department, which I don't appreciate, by the way. So no, be a part of the solution or get out of the way. Climate change, global warming, is not unproven theory. It's not debatable at this point. It's not a conspiracy, it's a fact, like germ theory. It's proven theory, it's fact. It may even be too late to do anything about it. The consequences are already threatening life in many places, but we must address this as adults. Yesterday, as they say, not in three or four years, but now. When you circle the earth as we did, you're privileged to get a very unique view not given to most men and women, and never before in history. I think it means something. And you can't just throw that experience away and say, well, I'll respect rule by the most mean-spirited among us. Scientists have no ulterior motives in this. They overwhelmingly confirm that global warming is happening due to man-made causes that can be reversed, maybe, I say maybe, if we start now, certainly not two years from now. So no, sorry, I'm not going to stand by while a certain anti-science fringe with authority issues, if I may speak frankly, takes us off the cliff. Not on my watch. Time to act. Sorry if that offends anybody. I've looked down on the earth and I saw a magical living system. Quite fragile it would appear, possibly a one of a kind anywhere in a galaxy. Now, I come from a military background, like many, or most of the astronauts or ex-astronauts, and I understand the idea of respect for authority or an office. But some people are just such jackasses, they make it difficult. Now. You can be head of the Senate Environment and Public Works Committee. Notice I'm not mentioning any names here and say you don't believe in science, but you do believe in conspiracy theory when it serves the interest of your corporate backers and yet denies a crisis that may already be too far gone. We're talking about human life here. We must act, not sit around debating conspiracy theory it was said once before and bears repeating, I think. 
Sir, have you no decency?